So um, what it was, was uh, with Paddy's Gold, um, I've, I've been here forever in Australia, for 39 years now, that's why you can't detect an accent anymore. <laughs> And uh, so, uh, but about, after being here for like 25 years, went back to Ireland, myself and Ricky, and we spent a year back there. And um, I had a job driving a truck, and driving along the road one day, and listening to the equivalent of Radio National, listening to Jerry Ryan, talkback radio. And there was this, um, all of a sudden, there was this Australian accent on. And this young man had gone back to Ireland, had gone to Ireland, never been away from Australia before because he'd been researching his family tree. And he knew that his great 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 ancestor had been sent out as a convict to Van Diemen's Land. But um, he was a lifer, he was a young man, and he knew he wasn't going back. He'd never be allowed to go back. And so he stayed here, but of course, obviously, he married me a descendants. And this young man did the family tree, and he had all the research done. He knew the name of the ship that he sailed on, the date, where he was imprisoned in County Limerick in a little old prison away out in the moors, an inhumane old place. He knew all this information, but he said that if I came to Ireland, I knew there'd be something more for me here that I should find before I could finally close the, sh the chapter in my research. And boy, did he find it. He parked his hired car and he saw the old eerie old prison away out there in the moors in County Limerick. And he walked over all alone to this derelict, deserted old place and walked around it. And of course he couldn't get in. And so he went into Limerick City and he told them what he was doing in Ireland. They said, you'd like to probably go in there. He said, am I allowed? They said, yeah, why not? And they gave him the keys to let himself in the big iron gate. And out he went and he had a torch. And in one of the little cubicles, one of these inhumane little prison cells that you wouldn't put any creature he found scratched into the sandstone block wall his ancestor's name. And he said, he left this for me because he wasn't coming back. He left this for me nearly 200 years ago. And the story put goosebumps all over me because it tied us all together, this story. And I thought, what's the best way of writing it out? So it took me about, I don't know, 12 years. And I finally thought, this is the best way of writing it out. They didn't tell you because they didn't know. They didn't know about the gold. When they took you from this prison cell to sail you on the seas to hell, to rise and fall with the violent swell on that stormy brine so cold. But what they didn't say, Paddy, because they didn't know. They didn't know about the gold. So etch your name deep, Paddy Nolan, on the sandstone and don't stop to think what a piece of black flint for your pen and blood, sweat and tears for your ink. Work fast, boy. You're sailing tomorrow to Van Diemen's land, you've been told. Condemned, cried the judge. But it was obvious he knew nothing at all of the gold. By a lonely prison wall, I heard a young girl calling. Michael, they have taken you away For you stole Trevelyan's corn So the young might see the morn Now a prison ship lies waiting in the bay Lo, lie the field of Athen Rhine, where once we watched a small free bird fly. Our love was on the wing, we had dreams and songs to sing. It's so lonely round the fields of Athen Rhine. And the learned judge grew rich and stout. But his honor never dreamed about the wealth of citrus in full bloom and the wheat fields rich demeanor throwing a golden glow to the sky above the massive riverina and the golden girls with golden hair that'd take your breath away on golden sun-drenched beaches from Broome to Byron Day. And one day the world will wonder when your epitaph is told just what it was Paddy Nolan did to deserve this land of gold. 
For there's gold above and below the ground, from Gympie to Kalgoorlie. And the sun god spills his loot o'er the plains of Eve. But no richer gold was ever found, no higher grade of bullion than the pure and precious heart of a country woman. Because she bears the load time and again, this gentle queen with strength for ten. And her stoic smile belies the pain when God withholds the rain. By a lonely prison wall I heard a young girl calling Nothing matters, Mary, when you're free Against the famine and the crown I rebel, they ran me down no, you must raise her child with dignity. Low lie in the fields of Athen Rhine, where once we watched the small free birds fly. Our love was on the wing. We had dreams and songs to sing It's so lonely round the fields of Athen Rye I love this next verse There's a gold and amber liquid there To wash away the stain Of this cold, dank, limerick prison in the rain And you wonder much of the tired old judge And the punishment intended when your poets will write of white stars at night and sunlit plains extended. And if the judge had sense, sure he'd have gone himself. He would. He'd have stored away in the hold. But he didn't go, Paddy. Because he didn't know. He didn't know about the gold. By a lonely harbor wall she watched the last star falling As the prison ship sailed out against the sky For she lives in hope and pray For her love in Botany Bay It's so lonely round the fields of Athen Rye Of that and right, where once we watch the small free birds fly. Our love was on the wing, we had dreams and songs to sing. It's so lonely round the fields of that and right. Someone's outside. Nolan, on the cold grey icy porch, a handsome young man with a golden suntan and a big set of keys and a torch, and his eyes fall on his surname etched deep in the grey sandstone. In a way he's brought you Paddy, in a way he's brought you home, and the line has become a circle now, the future caught up in the past. Your sorrow and grief was all worth it, your two worlds united at last and we will always remember wherever your story is told because your name is still etched on the sandstone but your memory Paddy, your memory sure it's written in gold thank you thank you very much thank you.